Today marks six months since the murders of a Nelson County teacher and her teenage daughter. Kathy and Samantha Netherland were brutally killed in their home, and whoever did it has not been caught. WLKY's Marissa Alter spoke with Kentucky State Police. She joins us with an update on the investigation. Marissa? Vicki, KSP says despite no arrests, this case is a top priority, and investigators remain focused on solving it. Six months later, the police tape and squad cars that once surrounded this Springfield Road home are gone, now replaced by for sale signs. But the questions and horror of what happened inside remain for the community. Who would do such a thing? I mean, they have to be a very ang angry person. There's people still apprehensive about the cause of it and, you know, what's going on? The innocent lives taken for why? Kathy and Samantha Netherland's home became a crime scene April 21st. Police say they were killed that night, but not discovered until the next morning when both failed to show up for school. Kathy Netherland was a special ed teacher at Bardstown Elementary. Samantha Netherland was a sophomore at Bardstown High. Investigators don't want the cause of death released, but confirm these were violent murders. Anytime somebody goes in a home and, and kills a mother and a daughter, that uh, really at this point we found uh, no motive for the killing. You have to think that there's uh, some kind of personal rage. But Trooper Jeff Gregory says investigators haven't been able to find a reason why someone would want to hurt the Netherlands. Lack of a motive has been a challenge solving the case. So, too, has been identifying this car, a black Chevy Impala captured on surveillance video driving away from the scene shortly after the murder. KSP released the description in April, confident it's the suspect vehicle. Investigators have checked out a ton of tips, but nothing's come back yet, which Gregory admits is frustrating. I don't know the exact number on that, but we're well into the thousands. He says they're not giving up on finding that car. Investigators also sent lots of evidence to the state police crime lab for testing. Gregory says nearly all the tests have come back, but he won't reveal the results. We're still plugging along, and, and we're, we're hopeful and confident that uh, we're going to bring these to a conclusion. Uh, we just don't know exactly the timetable on that. If you know anything, call 270-766. 5078. KSP says any small piece of information, even if you think it's not relevant, could hold the key for investigators. I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News.